Hey guys, what's up? So here is the tutorial about camera tracking in Blender software. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button to like this video. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments. Okay, so here we go. So when you open the Blender software, just go to the motion tracking. Now open your footage. Okay, so it's good to completely catch the video. So for that, go to the preferences, increase that number. Well, it depends on the video size. So just set it to 4096, it will be better. Now you just have to click those buttons, prepatch and set scene frames and there it is loading the frames so with this it will not buffer while you are sliding through the video you can see smooth playback ok so here we start the camera tracking so first of all here you have two choices Number one, you can insert the trackers by using the detect features button. When the features are inserted, you just have to click that button and it will start tracking those. and it's done but this has a problem it detects features but it misses some important contrast points just like this one so the detect features method does not work best in all the cases so for that we will go to the second method and we will insert the trackers manually so first select and delete the previous trackers just press the button A and then delete or you can delete by using that button ok now just press that add button and then press on those dots you can just hold control and click and it will insert the dots make sure to insert at least 8 dots they are required for the camera tracking in blender Okay, so now you will have to increase the size of the trackers. It depends on the shakiness of the video. If your video is not shaky, so you may leave it as this. Okay, so first of all, make sure to turn that on that search tick. So increasing this, the search size will allow tracking within a bigger area. That big rectangle is actually the search area now the pattern area is that small square the image that is inside that will be tracked within the search area so insert and do this for all position the trackers on edges of the dots Make sure that LOC is selected and the previous frame means that image from the last frame is searched in the present frame while the key frame means that image from the first key or manually inserted key is searched in the present frame. So it means that the previous frame has less chance to fail and also the selection of this does not matter very much. Now just click there to track and the selected tracker will be tracked you will have to do it for all you can select 
all the trackers and track them simultaneously. And it's finished and also a tracker can fail during the tracking so just like this one so just select the tracker go to the frame where it failed and position it manually track again from that frame and that's it all done now come to track solve menu but before that you will have to set the information of your camera lens there are also some presets about the camera but they might not be useful and may be useful ok so you just have to change the sensor width of the camera the lens width you can find out your own also in the google it's quite simple so now check out the frames duration and then and then set the frame duration to that now just click to solve for the 3d camera and it's done there you can see the error is less than one so make sure that it is less than one at least less than one if it is not less than one so repeat the process again now with these buttons the camera will be inserted into your 3d scene and also a cube and a plan will be inserted so just do that and there it is but it will look strange so we will correct that from here ok so here when you select the dot it will be selected in the scene also you can see now we will correct it so just select all the trackers and click on the floor and there we get an error it says that you must only select the three trackers so that's no problem you just select three planner trackers and there it is it has come to the plan and now you can also position the middle tracker onto the origin just select it and click on origin and there it is it has come to the origin that's cool there you can see now you can also align all the trackers with x or y axis so just select a tracker and click on the x axis or y axis whatever you want depends on your scene now also it may look small so you will also have to increase the scale of the camera and the size of the whole tracking system so for that just select any two trackers and type in a number add there and it's scaled 10 times okay so that looks cool now just you can insert your own 3d objects and you can just play with it
okay so here is a button that is very useful in camera tracking systems make sure to take this for an object so then the object will only receive the shadows and it will not display its own color but it will display the shadow so that's cool that is very useful in the camera tracking okay so that was it you just have to practice yourself make your own creative scene and uh, and leave a like to this video and if you have any question then comment down there and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching